Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for diabetes. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 is when your immune system attacks and destroys the insulin producing cells in the pancreas. We don't know exactly why type 1 occurs, but it appears that there's a genetic component plus environmental factors at play. Type 2 diabetes is much more common. And that's typically occurs later in life uh, with increasing weight, decreasing activity. There is a genetic component there too. Certain ethnicities have a higher um, prevalence. Uh, also uh, increasing age, high blood pressure, and abnormal cholesterol can factor into it along with smoking. So unfortunately, diabetes is very popular. 11% of the U.S. population has diabetes. 27% over the age of 65 have it. Worldwide, there's over 425 million cases. So in Pakistan and Mexico and other countries where we have clinics, the incidence is about the same. You know, it's a lot of people, millions. 35% of Americans have what's called prediabetes, which is a chronic higher than normal blood sugar and typically evolves into type 2 diabetes. So there are many complications that can occur from diabetes, such as uh, heart issues, uh, neuropathy, kidney issues, uh, damage to one's eyes, uh, feet with ulcers, uh, skin conditions, hearing impairment, Alzheimer's, and depression. So when you look at the conventional treatment options for diabetes, they are not fabulous. They don't really uh, do anything as far as uh, repair, regenerate um, any of the, the insulin producing cells, the islet cells. Um, the goal of conventional treatment is to con control one's blood sugar and prevent the future complications. That's usually why the complications occur is because people have chronically abnormal blood sugar. Type 1 diabetes is managed with insulin as well as dietary changes and exercise. Type 2 diabetes can also be managed with non-insulin medications. Maybe a person needs insulin and then lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking, reducing one's weight, changing diet. The last time I checked, there were at least 10 different classes of medications for type 2 diabetes, which work in all phases of insulin production in the body. So stem cell therapy for diabetes represents a new paradigm. It's a non-operative treatment that can actually help repair and regenerate tissues in the body that are damaged. Uh, we've done over 15,000 cases in the U.S. and now we have been international for the last couple of years. Um, and we've seen over and over again patients do really well with diabetes, kidney, liver, all types of, of conditions. Uh, people achieve relief, improve function. It's very low risk. We'll talk about that. Outpatient, very effective. Our protocol typically involves a combination of IV and often focal injections. So how do stem cell biologics work? Well, a lot of people think that, okay, well, I'm going to get a stem cell therapy, and those stem cells are going to turn into the cells that I need. And that's typically not how it works. Um, they work by a few mechanisms. One is paracrine signaling, which means cell-to-cell -cell communication, which will help to recruit cells to the, the damaged area, create new blood flow, reduce the death of neurons and islet cells and other cells that um, you don't want to die. You want them to live longer and help repair the damage. Uh, I just talked about new blood flow. Immunomodulation is very important because, like for instance, insulin, uh, type 1 diabetes, the, uh, the body's basically fighting against itself um, and destroying the insulin producing cells, the islet cells. So it can help modulate that and tone that down. And there's also some direct mechanisms. So let's go through a few studies. There's been some really good ones out there. Here's one on the clinical effectiveness of stem cell therapy for diabetes. This was a meta-analysis. All that means is that the authors take a bunch of studies that already exist and they pool the data to see what conclusions they can make. And this included over 20 studies, 524 total patients. Now, these patients received an IV infusion of umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. 
and it provided significant out benefits in type 1 diabetes when compared to the bone marrow type of stem cells. Um, administration of stem cell therapy early after the diabetes diagnosis was more effective than uh, later. And stem cell transplants can represent a safe and effective treatment for patients with diabetes. Here's a study, mesenchymal stem cells as a new therapeutic approach for diabetes and pancreatic disorders. So what they talked about was the immunomodulatory action of mesenchymal stem cells, meaning that it halts and sl slows down the body fighting against itself. It reduces the immune system activation, could stop the production of self-antibodies against those pancreatic beta cells and block their degeneration. So the beauty of that is that it can stop the body fighting against itself and improve one's ability to regulate their own blood sugar without the need for so much insulin or maybe not needing insulin at all. So mesenchymal stem cells represent a very promising strategy for the treatment of the three main pancreatic disorders, which diabetes, pancreatitis, and pancreatic cancer. Um, MSCs could be used to prevent disease onset or as a cure to protect pancreatic tissue, thus relieving disease symptoms. So they show you in this diagram basically how these stem cells do their job. Now we've been talking mostly about, you know, this is a diabetes presentation, so it helps modulate the immune system, it helps regenerate islet cells, um, and then helps cells differentiate into the insulin releasing cells, all of which can dramatically improve one's diabetes. Stem cell secretome is a new booster for regenerative medicine. Basically, when we give an umbilical cord stem cell therapy, it comes with stem cell byproducts called exosomes and secretomes, okay? So it's not just the stem cells in the biologic that help tremendously, it's also the secretomes and exosomes. So stem cell secretomes have shown great potential in a variety of clinical applications, including heart issues, neurodegenerative, diabetes, hair loss, joint arthritis. Long-term effect and safety of Wharton's jelly-derived mesenchymal stem cells on type 2 diabetes. Wharton's jelly is part of the umbilical cord. So our umbilical cord stem cells have Wharton's jelly in it, along with umbilical cord blood. So in this group, they treated patients um, with the Wharton's jelly-derived stem cells with two IV infusions separated a month apart. And the mean cell count was 26 million per patient, okay? Now, they noted that the glucose measurements, blood sugar, and hemoglobin A1C were lower in the experimental up to two years of follow-up. That's a long time. So insulin usage and fasting C-peptide were significantly improved, and the conclusion is that transplant of umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells is feasible and safe. This is basically almost the exact type of stem cells we use, except ours has additional um, components in it uh, not just the warden's jelly. Uh, this was a great study, amniotic stem cell transplantation therapy for type 2 diabetes, three years follow-up report. This is uh, only four patients though with type 2 diabetes. With um, amniotic stem cells, um, they showed blood sugar control improved a lot. Um, our results suggested one plausible therapeutic strategy. So years ago, we used to do just amniotic stem cell therapy, but as the years have gone by, we found that there are many more stem cells and regenerative elements in the umbilical cord. So that's what we use now um, in the U.S. and internationally. So in conclusion, there's many, many small studies and early clinical trials and our own experience, which have shown that stem cell therapy for diabetes is not only very, very safe, but it's typically very effective. We see this over and over again. We've never had a significant adverse event. Patients do not reject the material. Um, we've never had a communicable disease. Um, and what we do know is that it appears that high stem cell numbers are necessary. Uh, we usually use a combination of an IV and various injections. Um, I do want to mention that uh, if you were ever going to consider an embryonic stem cell therapy or induced pluripotent stem cell therapy, don't do that. Those treatments are not ready for prime time. They're still in the research phases. 
um, run away if anyone suggests that. We use mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells from the umbilical cord. That is, we've done that for years and years, over 15,000 procedures now in the U.S. and internationally. Very, very effective results. And there's another video I did talking about the safety um, of these, uh, uh, the umbilical cord tissue. Um, it does not form tumors. It doesn't cause a rejection. It's a fantastic way to go. So I want to talk about the treatment program we have in Pakistan. Uh, we perform procedures in the Islamabad and Rawalpindi area. Um, we don't just get patients from those metro areas. We also get them flying in, um, as well as from other parts of, of the country. The process is very simply, we start with a free phone consultation with one of our licensed, experienced stem cell doctors who will listen to your medical history, look at your medical records, and, and help you make the decision um, with what procedure, whether you're a candidate, what procedure, and how many stem cells would be necessary. We do also have a patient concierge representative who will assist you with any travel logistics necessary. I do want to talk about the cells for a moment. Um, a lot of the magic happens at the lab. The cells that we use uh, come from the umbilical cord, as I mentioned, and they are from the U.S. Um, we have our lab that has a pristine safety record. Um, we process tissue according to the FDA quality assurance standards. So there's a lot of testing that, that gets done to make sure that the tissue is safe and free of, of any you know, disease entities, things like that. These are very pure, potent stem cells along with growth factors, exosomes, secretomes, cytokines. I call it a full orchestra of regenerative elements. R3, we've been around for close to nine years now. Um, we've been at this a long time. We've been featured on all the major media outlets. Uh, we were recently named uh, 10 most innovative companies of the year, 50 smartest companies of the year, and the USA's leading regenerative therapy services provider. So to start the process, call us on the US prefix 888-988-0515 and visit us online at r3stemcell.com slash Pakistan. Thank you very much for watching.